my loves, welcome back to a new video. So today we're gonna be trying out two different high-end mascaras. I haven't done a mascara showdown in so long, but I know you guys love them. Today we're gonna be trying the Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara, which recently came out. I'm gonna also try the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes Mascara. I actually bought this one myself, this was from PR, um, but I've heard a lot of good things about this mascara, so I thought, you know what? We're gonna try one on each eye, wear it throughout the day, see how they wear, if they transfer, if they crumble, what do they do to my lashes or why are they so hyped up? Um, so yeah, we're gonna put them to the test. Guys, if you don't know me, I get so excited about mascaras. Like mascaras are like my go-to product, like if I want a natural base. Like my lashes are what completes my looks for me. Today's post notification shout out is gonna go to Maya Jones. So thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. So if you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and let me know in the comments below or you can just leave a nice comment. By the way, if you guys wanna see how I got this base, it will be on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me on there. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is curl my lashes. A lot of you ask me like, what do you do to your lashes? Like what, what products are you putting on them? Honestly, I don't do anything. Um, but my lash curler is my best friend. If you haven't used a lash curler, even if you don't have like that much length in your lashes, a lash curler is just gonna add that little bit to it. Like it will just lift them and you, you'll see a massive difference. So definitely recommend one. I use mine from Hourglass. So I really get up in there and we're just gonna push this. And always do this before you put your mascara up. Oh my God, please do not cut your lashes off and do this after you put mascara off on. I mean, can you guys see that? Can you guys see the difference? Oh my God, I've been so excited to film this video for you guys. And I just wanna see like, what's the hype about these mascaras? Like they better be like my lash sensational or better. Oh my god, the PR packaging is so cute. It has this like mag magnetic thing here. This is what the mascara looks like. You've got, I've got full size and a mini. There was a mascara that I used to really love uh, from Benefit and I don't know why I stopped using it. Oh yeah, it was the Roller Lash. I was obsessed with the Roller Lash um, and the Bad Girl Bang la uh, Mascara. Now this mascara is for $24.50. It won't smudge or flake, which we'll see today. We'll see today. 36 hour lengthening mascara with a magnetic force, flexible, lightweight, and builds easily. Okay, let's try this on. That's what the brush looks like. It's quite thick, but I like that it's a firm plastic brush. Like very firm, like this does not move like the Maybelline one. And the color is really black, which I like. It's not like a grayish black. So yeah, let's try this on. Usually when it comes to mascara, I like to put like two layers, I would say. But I always put mascara on my lower lashes. That's just a must. Otherwise I just feel so naked. Definitely giving length. It's separating my lashes really well. Put some on my lower lashes. I wish there was more, like it's gripping well, but I wish there was more product going onto my lashes. But we'll see, we're gonna build this up but it's definitely giving a lot of length. I just want a bit, bit of volume. I get, oh my God, guys. Honestly, I'm so picky about mascaras. Um, but this is like, can you see what mascara does? Like, just like, you know what? I'm just gonna give that a couple of seconds and I'm gonna do another coat. Okay. This is actually doing wonders. Problem is, a lot of mascaras that I try are, are amazing. Like. They just do so much for my lashes. But by the end of the day, it's like a whole other story because like my under eyes is bloody charcoal. And it's the worst thing I hate about mascara. Like I don't want to be worrying about if there's like black smudging on my under eye throughout the day, you know? So for me, it's really important that I can trust my mascara. Um, but this, oh my God, this is so good. It's like combing so nicely. I love it. It's so beautiful. That's exactly how I want my lashes to look, okay? So that is one eye. And so far, I'm very, very happy with it. That's really nice. Yeah, it's definitely lengthening for sure. I can't not say that it's not lengthening. If you want volume, you definitely need to go in with a second coat. So the innovated, innovative extender brush with magnetically charged core Pulls the magnetic minerals enriched formula up and out beyond the tips of the lashes for extreme length and power lift. 
Uh, there's a custom design zigzag bristles are strategically positioned to fan out, separate and define lashes. Definitely agree with the separation of lashes. There's no clumping. My Each lash is like really separated and I, I, I think it's definitely because of the firmness of the wand and like the bristles. So yeah guys, I'm really happy so far with this one. Let's move on to the other eye. I just need to search up the mascara because I need to see. I did actually get the, the smaller size just to see if I liked it first. And I got mine from Cult Beauty and this is 23 pounds. It says here nine grams equal nine mil. I don't know if that sounds right, but I think you get roughly at the same amount of product and they're similar prices. The Pillow Talk mascara gives inky jet black coverage, which I love. Um, doesn't smudge or budge with humidity. Lashes look lifted without any need for an eyelash curler. Diamond shaped bristles that follow the shape of your own lashes. Keratin boosted lash thickening formula, okay. Hairs left conditioned and happy while carnobar and micro crystalline waxes add texture for added volume and body without weighing it down. The before and after on the packaging looks insane. So yeah, let's see if uh, this looks different to the benefit one. The, the packaging is very fancy, like very heavy, um, and the brush is like this thin, flat, oval shape thing. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This one's really nice as well. I really stopped tugging at my lashes because I can definitely see some bold spots. Just gonna give that a second and I'm gonna do another second coat but oh my god like it's literally matching the benefit already with just one coat it's definitely more volume here though so I'm gonna do a second coat but like so far I'm really happy with it so they both they both seem good so far I don't know hey they're both really good guys but you have to be careful with the Charlotte Tilbury one because I could see like it was getting clumpy like there was little balls so I had to like comb it through properly but do you know what? It's really black. It did the job and I like both. I kind of prefer more the benefit one. I feel like this one is risky because like if I'm in a rush, I'm, I could mess it up by getting it, all, getting it all clumpy and stuff. It's just a close up. They're both good, right? I can't say our oh, one's way better than the other. But this one... It looks like it's going to keep my lashes up more throughout the day whilst this I feel like it's already weighing down. I don't know. That's just my first impression. Okay, so it's now... What time is it? 9.36 a.m. I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day and I'll be back later on and we're going to see how this looks. So far, I'm really happy with both. Like I can't say like there's a major difference between the two. They both have similar prices. They both have similar weights. I don't know, well, the, the, the big question is, is is there going to be some black smudgy stuff under my eyes later on today? So we'll see and I'll catch you guys later on. Alright guys, it's now 6.21pm and honestly these two mascaras are holding up pretty well and the rest of my makeup actually. Oh my god. Okay, I just come a little closer for you guys, but both mascaras held up really well. The slight crumbling on the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk mascara side, but... This side held up pretty well, no black smudging whatsoever, whatsoever. Um, my sister prefers the Charlotte Tilbury side, my husband, I think he prefers this side because he said like they're more separated, like you can see more strands of mascara whilst this look more, this one looks more like, like there's not as many strands but it looks like more a falsy effect but honestly I feel like I would use both of them still I'm really happy with both I, I do have more of a preference for the benefit one it just looks really voluminous really lengthy and very separated and yeah I really like it but both mascaras are good both are, are, are mascaras I would use I would I probably would purchase the benefit one I don't know about the Charlotte Tilbury one because it hasn't really like wowed me like even just looking right now I feel like I can see more lashes on this side rather than this side I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but they're both good. I think I would rate this like a nine out of 10, a good 7.5 out of 10, just because of the, like the crumbling, because I've got a few crumbles on this side, but just absolutely none on this side. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like just a couple of crumbles, but 
yeah both sides held really well so yeah that's all for today's video i hope you guys really enjoyed and please please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and um, let me know what other products i should test out and yeah i'll see you in my next video love you guys